Hello my friends and welcome back to another video of the H-Plants team. We are happy to have you here again with another useful video of how to take care of your green friends. In this video we will go through how to take care of Diffenbachia plant, its common problems and finally we will answer some of the frequently asked questions regarding this lovely plant. Diffenbachia or as some people call it the dumb cane is a lovely plant and a perfect choice for those who love to keep houseplants in their home. Uh, keeping these plants might require some necessary tips that you need to remember and always you have to take care of this plant provided with optional uh, situations to grow perfectly. There are some aspects that you need to consider, for example, the plant's watering, its light requirements, the pests and problems that this plant will face, and also how to, to prevent and overcome the problems in case they occur. The first thing we will discuss here is how to water this lovely plant. Diffenbachia loves moist soil, but you should remember that you should never overwater this plant, as this can lead to root problems such as root, uh, root rot and fungal diseases. Always check the soil uh, with your finger, and if the top inches of the soil uh, feel dry, it's time to water this plant. You need to water it thoroughly and make sure that the excess water came out of the drainage hole and get rid of it. Remember that overwatering and underwatering both can damage your plant, so adjust your watering schedule. The second factor in taking care of Diffenbachia is light. This plant prefers bright and indirect light, so you should put them near windows with a sheer curtains or in a place that is full of light. Remember that if you expose this plant to direct light, uh, the plant will get damaged and different problems will occur. And on the other hand, if you put it in a place that receives low light, the plant uh, will face some problems such as curling leaves. The second factor in taking care of uh, these green friends is hem temperature and humidity. Always keep the temperature between 65 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is equal to 14 to 24 degrees Celsius. Also, these plants love humidity, so it's okay to keep the humidity level between 50 to 80 percent. There are some simple ways to provide the necessary humidity for this plant uh, if the place you keep this plant is not humid enough. For example, you can use cold mist humidifier or you can spray water on the leaves of this plant. Also, you can uh, create a pebble tray to provide the necessary humidity for this plant. Another factor in taking care of this plant is pest management. Uh, we will discuss about this, about pests and different diseases uh, in the following, but uh, you should remember that you should uh, regularly monitor your plant, especially back of the leaves, to see if there is any signs of pest infestations. If there were any signs, you should immediately take action and get rid of them. We will discuss about this process in the following. Another factor is soil and fertilizations. Uh, you should use a, this plant love light soil, which is a mixture of cocoa peat, perlite, and peat moss. Also, you have to pay attention to the drainage of the soil. Uh, there must be a few holes on the back, on the bottom of the pot so that the excess water came out of the pot. It's recommended to feed this plant uh, with balanced fertilizers in the spring and late summer. Also, you should pay attention that over-fertilizing can damage this plant too, as it will lead to uh, salt buildup in the soil and this will change the pH level of the soil and damage the plant. Last tip that we will discuss about taking care of a uh, different bucket plant is pruning. You should get rid of yellow and damaged leaves so that the plant directs its energy for younger and green leaves rather than the old and diseased uh, leaves. Uh, always use sharp and clean scissors to get rid of these uh, yellow and damaged leaves on your plant. Okay, my friends, here we will discuss about some of the common issues that these lovely plants will face. The first one is yellowing leaves. We have talked in detail about this problem in another video, which I recommend you should watch it. But overall, uh, some problems such as overwatering, low nutrients in the soil, and, and direct light can lead to yellow leaves in your plant. So adjust your watering and put this plant in a place that receives indirect and enough light. 
The second common problem of this green friend is leaf dropping. This usually happens when the plant faces uh, environmental stress. For example, sudden change in the place temperature and being exposed to heating or cooling devices. So take care of this plant by putting it in a place that uh, have the ideal conditions. Consider lighting, temperature, and all the things that I mentioned and find a place that suits for this plant. The third problem is brown spots on the leaves of this plant. This usually happens due to fungal diseases and pests on the plant. Uh, regularly monitor your plants, especially its leaves, to see if there is any signs of uh, pests such as mealybugs and spider mites or fungal diseases which usually happen in the soil and affect the plant's roots. There are some homemade remedies to get rid of these problems. For example, you can use neem oil or you can wash the plant with a soap to get rid of them. Or there are some insecticides and pesticides that you can use to get rid of these uh, little creatures that can damage your plant. The last problem that we will discuss in this video is Diffenbachia's small leaves. I've talked about this problem in another video which you should uh, watch it carefully. But overall there are some factors that can lead to this problem. For example, inadequate light, nutrient deficiency and uh, root bound is the common reason for Diffenbachia's small leaf. As I mentioned before, you should find a place to put this plant where there is enough light you should feed this plant with balanced nutrients uh, in the spring or late summer. And remember to repot this plant every two years so that the roots have a space to grow. Now I will answer some of the questions that you ask in the comments in our website and in our channel about Diffenbachia's caring and its problem. And I try my best to answer them correctly. The first question is that, why are my Diffenbachia's leaves turning yellow? As I mentioned, and as, I, as you can see here, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the common reason for yellow leaves on Diffenbachia is uh, improper watering. When you overwater the plant and the plant does not have a drainage hole, this problem will happen. The second question is that how often should I water Diffenbachia? As I mentioned, there is no fixed schedule to water your Diffenbachia. Check the soil, and if the top inches of the soil were dry, it's time to watering it. And remember that both overwatering and underwatering can damage your plant. So adjust your watering based on the environment you keep this plant. What causes Diffenbachia leaves to curl? Curling leaves is another problem that usually happen due to environmental stress. For example, sudden exposure uh, to the heating or cooling device or sudden change in the place of the plant. So remember these points when you want to place your plant in your home. Where is the best place for Diffenbachia? Remember that you should keep Diffenbachia inside your home as being outside can damage the plant due to the direct light. Now, uh, if you want to keep this plant in your home, put it in a place where it receives enough light. As in some seasons of the year, for example, in the winter, the cold can damage the plant. The next question is that, uh, is Diffenbachia toxic to pet? Yes, this plant is toxic to your pets and even for your kids. There are some chemical uh, elements that exist in this plant's leaves and in case your pets or even your kids eat the, eat the leaves of this plant, some uh, problems will happen. So in case this problem occur, immediately uh, ask for professional help and go to your vet, vet or check your family doctor to <coughs> make sure there is no problem. We have talked about uh, Diffenbachia's toxicity in another video and you should also watch this video too. And the last question I'm going to answer is that uh, why is my Diffenbachia growing leggy? Uh, leggy growth usually happens when you keep your plant in a situation that receives insufficient light. So move it to a place that receives enough light or you can use some artificial growth light to provide the necessary light for this plant. Okay, my friends, in this video, we talked about how to take care of this plant, some of its common problem and how to overcome them. Also, we answered some of the questions that you asked in comments and in our website. Make sure to check out our website and there you can find many articles regarding taking care of 
uh, different buckets, its problems, its uh, requirements, and anything you need to know about this lovely friend. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumb up. Have a green day. Take care.